Are you ever looking for an alternative for your keyboard for your iPad Mini 6? I know it doesn't have a smart connector, but that's not always a problem. With this video, we can solve that. Stay tuned and find out. Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? I have a keyboard from Guys, which it's a folding keyboard, one that's a little bit more pocketable, but this one kind of folds in the other orientation. Instead of collapsing, it folds horizontal instead of vertical. And it's a little bit different, so I figured I would like to review it just because inside the box you have the product itself. You have a little carrying case. It's just kind of like a velvet material. It's not too bad. And then you have the keyboard itself, the guys one. It comes with a long USB type A to micro USB charger, which I kind of wish that wasn't really still a thing. It's 2022. Your basic instructions, how to connect it. You can, you can connect up two different keyboards with it, and then you just have other instructions for how you unfold it, keyboard cutouts for like the hotkeys, and on the back side you have nothing that goes with it, and you know plug that file back to the side, and you have the actual keyboard itself. It has just some reflective plastic you just have to remove. And it's more long ways than it is the other way. Like I said, it folds the other orientation. That's one of the reasons why I purchased it. Purchased it, just for the simple fact that it's kind of like the other other unfolding keyboards I've had. It charges via micro USB, which I mean that's pretty much the norm with folding keyboards. I was just USB Type C, but hey, it's whatever. And then how you unfold it is a little bit different. It's a tri-folding keyboard, so that means it folds in three different parts compared to the other one, which is more horizontal instead of vertical, unlike this one, and it's more of a hard plastic build design to it. Like the hinge itself is hard plastic, and it's kind of like the perfect fit for a small keyboard and not really a full size one. So, this is just a comparison between the Apple Pencil, just the size of it. So, it's perfect for like an 8 inch tablet, anything more than like 10 or 11 inch, that would still be a little bit too much. But for like a regular 8 inch tablet, this would work perfectly. And you just unfold it. It's a tri folding one. There's no actual buttons to it. There's a little flap where you can press pull down for the actual keyboard itself, and then where you mount the tablet. And then it's just a close up. It's not a full size keyboard. The buttons are a little bit mushy. I mean, they're pretty firm, but they're not the worst, but they're not great. And just from the hinge itself, it's just a hard plastic design. And it's just, as long as you don't put too much force on it, it will hold up. But, like I said, it's a trifle in design, so therefore, it's a little bit more unique. Think of it kind of like a pencil pouch, like where you keep all your pens and pencils from back in the day. It's about, about that dimensions. It's about 9 inches long by about 3 while it's folded. And it's a unique design, just because. And I'm still a fan of the king of folding keyboards is the iClever BK05, which by that keyboard by itself, you have to, it's a lot to live up to, so that keyboard is basically king. It would take a lot for anything to dethrone this one with my travel iPad, because it's titanium built, it's a full size keyboard, it's backlit, it costs about 50 bucks out of the box off Amazon. And like I said, it's a full-size keyboard. You can also put up to three keyboard, attach it up to three different devices at once. And also the hockey, we can switch between three of them. With the guys one, you can only do two. But as like I said, this is just a comparison between a full-size and the guys one, which is about three-fourths of a keyboard instead of a full-size one. So that could be a trade-off for some people. You can pick it off Amazon for about $33. And it's not a bad little carrying one for your iPad, for like an iPad mini, because that's more ideal for the size of it. Maybe a regular 10 inch iPad, not the 11 inch, or the Air, or the other one, the 12.9, because those would be a little bit bigger and heavier, but for like a regular 8 inch tablet, like Samsung, Huawei, or Apple, it would be a perfect fit. I'm actually not too bad about it. I mean, it's got your basic navigations, you connect via Bluetooth, as there's no smart connector in the back of the iPad Mini 6, so you're stuck to Bluetooth, and the buttons are a little bit mushy, they're a little bit cramped, and that can throw a little bit people off, it's not backlit, and the buttons themselves are 
hard plastic, they're a little bit rubbery and a little bit mushy, so the typing experience isn't always our best. But it does not give you an actual alteration to the keyboard, it's just your standard QWER uh, QWERTY keyboard with your functions, with your hotkeys on top. They are changed a little bit how you uh, do the function keys with like the settings, but I mean all in all it's roughly about the same as any small keyboard. This is still better than any actual iPad Mini 6 keyboard case. This is loads better than any of those ones because all those are just junk. This is probably about a half step up from it and the experience is kind of pleasant but compared to the iClever series those are by far the best ones ever and then this is more of like a fourth grade one in my honest opinion of it. And then with the actual layout itself you have your function key is that you can do your shortcuts with everything you can switch between two different devices, which some of the other ones you can do three, so that might be a trade-off. You can lock your keyboard, you can control volume, brightness, go down function, check the battery level of your keyboard. There's no actual like indicator, there's just light that flashes, which you know, blue and red and then white. But the it does have like a row for the F keys for, you know, shortcuts and everything with the function button, which some have, some don't. This one does have it, so that's not an alternative. But I mean, for only like $33, it's not a bad deal, but for the same price, you can get the iClever BK03. It slides, the iPad or tablet doesn't actually hold in place, it slides around, so if you want to do this on your lamp, lap, I don't recommend it on a table, which is fine. It does connect relatively quickly, as like shown, because with the iPad virtual keyboards open, the second you click it open, it takes about three seconds, it's connected, and you're basically good to go and then it only takes a couple seconds to disconnect so that's a good thing because some of the keyboards I've reviewed take 10 to 15 seconds to actually connect to it but this one's actually relatively quick you know, open it up, you unfold it, pull down the flap up in the back of it, pop your iPad in place and then you're basically good to go I mean for the price point it's not bad but you can buy more for only a few bucks more the two best keyboards are still the iClever BK03 and then BK05 for about $35 and about $45 or $50. But this device is kind of a hard sell in my opinion just because there are better options for this for about the same price point. Because if you're already spending $30 some dollars, spend a few bucks more and get a better build, better material, and just a better product overall. I mean if this product was about $20 or $25, bucks, I could see it fit in those margins. But this product, I can't really recommend it just because there's some trade-offs. The keyboard is not great and then the price isn't that great also. I'm your host, VLT, signing out.